One more heat to decide. A champion, Matt Wilkinson, takes on Owen Wright. Two Australians, two best of friends, two goofy foots, ready to do battle. Wilco returning to the final once again. Exactly, he's ready to go here. As we already heard, a beautiful sound. It is on. 35-minute final compared to the 30-minute heats they had in the earlier rounds. Two good friends battling for prestigious points on the Jeep leaderboard. Owen Wright wearing the blue jersey, getting the first wave. It'll just be a warm-up start. Now with Wilco holding priority. Matt Wilkinson holds his position out the back. Why not? I mean, it's, uh, something's working right there. And <laughs> keep it going, Micro, whatever you're doing. It's uh, amazing stuff to have two guys in the finals getting Matty Wilco in a, in a position to back-to-back -to -back finals here. That's incredible stuff. Celebratory moment with two good friends sharing the water together. Wilco focused on business, looked over his head. Now he'll commit to the inside track. Got the lip to work with now. Clean Wilco form. He's seriously just waiting for something to really belt here. Now he's starting to pick up the pace. Throws the fins out and he's down. So Wilco will get a 3.67 on this one, Potts. Yeah, you can see he takes off. He's like, okay, what's happening behind me? Should I be on this thing? Um, and then realize, okay, I'm on it, so I might as well try and focus. Halfway down the line here, you sort of realize I haven't had much. I've got to go for something special. And sometimes that's when mistakes do happen. So Matty Wilco, uh, I'm sure this wave won't be in his top two by the end of, uh, by the end of this heat. Just a quick little wave, 3.67, not much to talk about. Back to the drawing board. CJ Hobgood, who's here in Chris's corner. It was a goofy foot title. Medina more recently. Now watching this, Owen Wright getting a second scoring ride. There's that similar tempo and pace, just matching what this wave requires at the moment. Speeding through the white water, frames it up vertically. Great timing for Owen Wright. Pushing through that top turn. He's going to get a little bonus wrap here on the inside. And fade out. So they get those turns in the pocket. I mean, let's have a look at this wave here. It's not a very big wave to start off with, but nice opening maneuver right there. Taking his time. You can see him just waiting and then reacting when, the sesh, when that section just uh, stands up. Getting back into the, into the white water, up and over. Watch this turn right here. Bang! Nice and vertical. Get a little bit of a drift. Didn't lose any speed at all. And then again, just keeps it going through this inside section. A couple of little bonus turns through the inside. Owen just looking for less than a point to get the lead. So we're going to see the lead change. But uh, just clean, beautiful surfing from Owen Wright. Love his connection through the inside. Always finishing. Every turn a little bit different. All unique oh. for the section. Even getting radical when he was able to rip one off the coping there, Potts. Yeah, that. I mean, that turn around the section here is... Okay, draws off the bottom, he's got his eyes on the prize. Now he starts to twist the upper body, bangs it up nice and vertical, gets a little bit of drift right there, takes the pressure off the back foot, but not, a, not you know, enough to where he's sliding too much. He's keeping those fins engaged, and that gives him that drive back around the section. So un unreal surfing right there for Owen. And just showing his strength on finals day, surfing through big names to the sport. Oh, yeah, um, straight into it. Uh, you know, Margaret's is a big shift. It's a different type of wave. It's a bigger wave. There's more power, more water. Um, but I'm excited. In the past, I, you know, it hasn't really been something that I've been excited to, to go over there for. But uh, I'm, I'm stoked. I feel pretty darn comfortable in the bigger stuff now at this point. And um, just hope we get great waves. And yeah, I just want to, you know, keep competing well. I'm going to take this week and uh, go back to Bells. My boyfriend lives there, so I'll, I'll do some training for four or five days, reset, and then uh, shoot over to West Oz. So. so looking forward to seeing how the top 17 move forward as we still have a heat to finish for the Quicksilver Pro. During the catch of Lakey Peterson, Wilco caught a very important ride. Yes, he did. He needed to uh, put a score on the board, but O-Dog answers back. This is live. Throw tail reverse for Owen to just flip the script to get Radical out the back. A lot of risk and commitment on the first turn. Now throws it vertical. Always oh, has this classic flow. Never seems to be rushing a step. He's slowing down to wait for this wedge to start growing through this inside sandbar. Not giving him too much, so he's out of there. Um, let's have a look at Wilco's one though first, 6.60. 6 Bit of a sleepy start, but um, as this wave does, it just starts to uh, build up through the inside. 
Yeah, he starts to go now. Once he gets that uh, swinging motion, once he gets that pendulum action going, he's just unstoppable. Flying down the line, right there up and over that section. So Matty Wilco answers back beautifully. Gets the lead off Owen. 14 minutes and 50 to go, but then Odog on the one behind. Watch this, bang, just spins it around. That was unbelievable control right there for Owen Wright. He's not done yet, though. This wave kind of stands up for him on the inside, connects again, just snaps him super tight in the pocket. You know, for, for such a big guy to get that board so tight and, and, and not lose any speed is, is unbelievable right now. So Owen Wright looking for just a, a five points plus ride, and uh, scores are dropping for that one. It's uh, enough, Joe. So Owen Wright getting the lead back with a 5.43 in this seesawing battle. Wilco already quick to answer. Already has the lift to hit, throws it up vertical. There's the Wilco transition. He doesn't even need time. Tries to whip another one for an exciting foam climb, but he'll go down. Basically like extended family that was checking in on him. Let's see what happened here. Yeah, just rapid fire on this one. You can see the body language. He's starting to feel it, isn't he? And then goes for just one too many over that white water and goes down. So a couple of amazing turns. We're going to see a lead change yet again. Matty Wilco looking to replace. Just a 3.67. 3.83 is what is required to move into the lead. He's going to get that and some. Wilco beat Kolohe last year. Now all goofy foot final here. Owen Wright had the lead. Now it goes back to Matt Wilkinson with a 5.30. 12 minutes remaining in the final of the Quicksilver Pro. Owen won for the home court. And now an all Australian goofy foot battle continues as we come back from break. Wilco got the lead on the previous exchange. Owen now swinging to get it back. A few backside carves. Now off the lip. This wall starting to grow a little bit down the line. Nice clean motion driving off the bottom and teeing off the coping. He'll just wait for this thing to show up. Blasting it. Great control for Owen. Tries to bury the finish and that one's going to hold him behind. And uh, it wasn't a bad wave. He was looking for a 6.48. Beautiful swooping cutback. We haven't seen a lot of those. And again, just getting this thing back right into this sort of the, the pocket, which is where all the scoring potential is, Joe. A couple of nice turns right there from Odog as he comes off the bottom. Bang, beautiful backside snap. Clean, smooth surfing. And again, he's just got that turn on lock as he brings it all the way through the inside. Just going for a little bit too much at the end of that one for him to be around you know he's been around for the right family uh, he's probably helped Matty Wilco a hell of a lot during his career as well so good to see him down here Owen deep on this one has to kick out because Wilco has priority solid start for Wilco getting the jam out the back little slingshot wrap into the inside track he'll fade again real quick and hope that it corners off for himself Throwing it up vertical, he's getting on the Wilco roll. A couple of big blasts of the inside. Get a little hung up on the top turn carve. Owens on the next wave. There's the fin drift. Places it vertical, Owen in motion. And now getting out. Everyone on their feet and the competitors there applauding one of the greatest comebacks to the jersey. The lead has changed several times. Oh. And that was that big turn you saw at the back. Yeah, nice vertical turn. That big wrapping maneuver again, and this uh, this wave is going to be Owen's best wave by far. I'm calling this going to be the best wave of the heat. Another nice turn. How's the way he gets that board super vertical and then just straight into the next one? You can hear the crowd just loving the surfing that's going on at the moment from Owen Wright, as well as Matty Wilco. This was Matty Wilco's wave, using his priority, holding Owen off. A little bit more aggressive on that snap. Now he does that big wrap round turn, waiting for this wave to stand up through the inside. Nice wide stance, real solid on his feet. Doesn't make too many mistakes, Matty Wilco. Loves snapper rocks. And again, beautiful. Straight up again, so three, four, five maneuvers, and then kind of has a little bit of a hiccup right there. And he turned around to watch the, the back part of uh, Owen's wave, so waiting for scores. Passing the five in a warning. So returning to the tour with a serious role to fight for a world title was Mick. Also, Parkinson and Owen adding to this beautiful comeback story. Judges calling for the replay of last of Owen, right? Strider still enjoying this final from the water. What was your take on the last exchange? 
I'm loving it, obviously. Uh, you know, I think that Wilco's definitely sharper right now. He's getting up into the lip and he's sticking it and he's, he's just a methodical clock, just ticking it on and on and on. But Big lead change, because that's the biggest number we've seen so far. Let's have another look. Yeah, watch this turn. Bang, just so vertical right there. The crowd loved it straight away into that next little wrap. Off the bottom again, another nice clean wrapping turn from Owen. Now we just got to wait, bite his time to get that inside bonus section. Boom, again, throws that board super vertical, straight into the next one. So Owen Wright just absolutely on a tear. The judges loved that one, 8.33, best wave of the heat so far. But now this final much different, a lot can happen in a season. He might be thinking about this wave and opts to let it roll through. Owen does the same. Wilco might be just putting himself in a position for one last shot to turn the seat pots. Wilco having a look. Is this, is he going to... Yep, he's committing. Here we go. He needs a 7.77 7 on this wave. Wilco, first turn, solid. He'll get down the line. Frames it up vertical, and he buries his nose, but he's still going. And then kicks out immediately, knowing that that was a big hiccup, and judges didn't want to see that one. Looking at the clock, he's got a minute under the priority now of Owen to try to turn this one around. Owen Wright's not going to play defense, though. He's just going to sit out the back. He's not that kind of guy, is he? 30 seconds to go. Waves coming through. Owen Wright too far out. Is he going to go this one? He's having a look. Now committing. Owen Wright will use his priority and pass Wilco with a top turn through the whitewater. And he carves straight out, leaving 20 seconds on the clock. Wilco, Wilco fighting hard to get in position pause. Does he see something? Ten seconds remaining. Matty Wilco paddling. He's having a look. And nothing coming through. Ladies and gentlemen, there you have it. Joe, what a Cinderella story. What a moment. What a day. What an emotional win right there for Owen Wright. Oh, my goodness like never seen before. Owen Wright is the champion of the Quicksilver Pro and wears the Jeep yellow jersey. Number one in the world heading into Margaret River. So he beat Mick, who's a past champion here. He beat Medina, who's a past champion here. Now he takes down Matty Wilco, who's a defending champion. It's not like he had an easy run, Joe. He had to take down the best of the best here at Snapper. How does it feel to be in the final together just first off? I mean, you're good brothers. Oh, man, that was unreal, like... I mean, I'm stoked that I won, but I would not have another person in the final with me. Um, he's been, Wilco's been supporting me the whole way through that injury, and he's been with me every step of the way, and we're both here in the final. And for you, Wilco, making it back into the final, back to back, you're coming up into second place. You're second in the world right off the bat. It's got to feel amazing, not to mention to be here with Owen. Yeah, absolutely. To, to be in another final here is a dream, and... I obviously wanted to win, but I don't know. Owen's made me cry about five times this week. And to, to see him last year was like the toughest thing I've ever seen. And, um, and to come back, and if anyone's going to be me, I'm so glad it's you, dude. Oh, man. Well, welcome back, Owen. It's great to have you back. It's great to see you number one in the world. And we can't wait for the rest of the year, brother. Congratulations. Thanks, man. I'm just so stoked. And... Uh, Far out. Oh, I just love having that final with Wilco and it's one of my best mates and we just had a great time back and forth and it just turned out my way but I'm sure there's another one done to turn out his way. Why don't you guys, you guys get, get on the beach, get your celebration on, congratulations, Quickie Pro's done and dusted. Thank you very much Strider, Owen Wright, your new world number one and one of the best comeback stories we could ever imagine. All the way to number one in the world, Wilco sharing words on going through that roller coaster ride of trying to feel if he would make a comeback. And then coming back to this kind of form, he just won this event for the first time in his career. It's his third championship tour win. And now we'll see him right into the world title race once again.